All right, so I'm heading to work, and then I get to one of these challenges. And every time your Pat Pat gets a challenge, the bell sounds. You know me. I got to do something, right? So Sean Long from nearby East Liverpool, Ohio, says, Rob, where's that video that you did talking about some of the Potter players that you remember during your 20 years as a play-by-play -play broadcaster? In particular, we're talking football. I said, look, I've done thousands. That playing thing is probably somewhere in cyberspace by now, right? So these are not necessarily players that rewrote the record books, but players that left a lasting impression on me during my 20 years behind the microphone from uh, early 80s to around 2000, okay? So early on, it was guys like T.C. Pearson, Larry Zanders. Mark Douglas was a better basketball player, but he had some skill set as far as football is concerned. Uh, also, uh, Moose Ramsey, who was the head coach at Wellsville, retired police officer from East Liverpool, just a quality guy all the way around. He had some intensity for sure. Uh, other people that come to mind, Kevin Smith, Brian Smith, James Bodie White, who had some of the best hands I have ever seen from a wide receiver. And uh, brother Eric Long would have been a really great football player, but uh, shoulder problems. But he ended up in the Olympics and the decathlon, so I guess he did okay. But the Long brothers, uh, just two guys that I have such love and respect for as I do that entire family, Larry Long and Sean Long, also many years East Liverpool Police Department, just an incredible talented wide receiver. And his brother, Larry, could do just about anything and had a great jump shot too, even though his feet didn't leave the floor <laughs> that much. But he did get off the ground enough to uh, hit the net more times than not during a pretty successful basketball career as well. Now, as far as number one that I remember that truly had the skill set and really rewrote the record books, uh, it has to be a guy that could have played in the fall foliage on any Saturday at D1. And of course, any given Sunday, he was a ferocious defensive player. He could run with the rock with such a skill set that I have never seen before or since. And that, of course, is Robert Jackson. Now, I know you all getting ready for your alumni weekend, of course, over the 4th of July and the East Liverpool Hall of Fame's got some amazing thing planned. So I said, before I go into work to take on uh, another show on KDKA tonight on the airwaves from 6 to 10, I just wanted to send out this message, all of you. And if I forgot your names, you know that you're special to me. And I hope all of you will add your comments and thoughts about some of the players past and present that you love to admire when it comes to Potter Sports. Uh, it is one of the greatest towns anywhere in the world. I absolutely love it. Don't get there as much as I used to, but I have such fond memories. Now, as far as coaches go, Bobby Thayer, people person, great husband, father, just a mentor to many and a dear friend and someone I used to just admire watching him coach. Bob Morris, another one. But as far as broadcast partners, and there were many, they were all special to me. None more special than the late uh, Jerry Smoke Stovall, who I think about daily. Rest in peace, my brother, till we meet again. And uh, as Frank Dawson has said many, many times, and I always think of this when I think of him and I think of that great community and their athletics and the alumni and everything that is that old school reunion that he wrote the book on many years ago when he started it, and that's blue and white forever. It's your Pratt Pack somewhere on the road in Pittsburgh saying have a great night to all of you in East Liverpool, Ohio. Good night.